Hello everyone, my name is Otavio Santana. I'm glad to be here again. Let's go to the second video about CDI. And today let's talk about the life cycle of CDI. I mean, how to create and how to destroy objects using and exploring the power of CDI. We already know that yes, we are able to define and create context inside CDI. So we're able to define application scoped, session scoped, view scoped, or even create my own scope inside CDI. Today, let's teach CDI how to create new objects or destroy new objects for us. Imagine right now, for example, we see connections, right? You want to create connection in this enclosed connection one when it doesn't make sense to us. Let me think in a sample. First, let's create a package, music, and then let's create a class music. Okay. This music here, I'll have an instrument, and then it will play, play, uh, playing instrument, the instrument. Every time that we talk about life cycle inside CDI, the question is, what's going to happen if I do inject the music here? So, select music, and let's see what's going on. And let's play, and let's run the application. It will compile and check. It will run and check. As you can see, it will CDI will create. And also, I don't have inject. It will instantiate to me, and then uh, I have several new values. Imagine right now that I don't want uh, to CDI do anything like that. Hey CDI, please don't do it. I have the power to use annotations on that case. Uh, for example, I have the vetted annotation. This way, I able to say CDI, please don't inject this, this class, this class, this class using this way. As you can hear, as you can see, I have unsatisfied dependence for the type music. Right now, we're gonna teach CDI to create this music class. So, I will come here, I will create my music supplier, okay? And then, I will, uh, yes, you can explore the supplier from Java 8, my music, and then I have my music where I able to create a music done don't stop me now. I love Queen. I love I love Queen. So anyway, let me create is supposed to see should be a sync. Instead of instruments, my bad on that. So let's sing, sing, and playing the music. Okay. Oh, well, let's see what's going on. Oh yeah, because it's the I, I should have the the full constructor. Let's run, and I still have the issue, right? Because I did the supplier, but I don't teach CDI to a CDI use this supplier here to make it possible. I able to use the produce annotation, okay? And another good point is, if I wish, I able to hide inside the package. So my clients don't need even to know about the music supply. 
So if I try to inject here, it's not possible because I'm hiding the supplier. So I have my don't stop me now, let me play and see what's going on. So I'm playing don't stop me now. And you are able to define scope here. So I able to use my application scope, whatever you want, as we're able to define the scope of this supplier as well. So feel free to explore both the music uh, and the supply. When you talk about enterprise application, we also think about uh, integration with several applications, several libraries. For example, if you're familiar with uh, Mono API, you probably know, right, that I have a currency here, a currency unit, a currency, and based on that, I need to create my monetary amount and my money depends on this kind of thing, right? So I have my money here and I need to have my value and also my currency. Okay, so I see it's what's complaining and it's your initialize. But imagine right now that my client should know, should not know the available currency inside my system. They should only receive this currency by injection, right? What can I do? I able to use the container, select currency unit class and then inject. It will return unsatisfied uh, issue, but I'm mean, able to use my currency supplier, sorry, uh, currency supplier, and then supplier, my currency unit. You don't need to use this, right? So if you don't wish, it's okay. You are able to come here, currency, unit, currency. You are able to create public void setup here. And then come here with my monetary, get currency, euro, and that is it, right? So based on that, I able to return my currency unit, get currency, and here you go. So right now, I will return my currency, and as I said, I will teach my CDI to use my produce, and I, also, I only need one currency, I will find this as application scope it and then inject. So I will come here again, have my money, I will inject my currency and then the money value and here you go. Let's see what's going on. Let's run. Oops, something goes wrong. Let's see what's going on. The currency is required inside the name. Uh, app line 12. That's weird, right? Because it's supposed to receive my currency here. But it's not receiving. What did I forget? I have my produce here. I have my application scoped. Who knows? Um, let me check again. Oops, I found that. I forget to, to say, hey, once you create the supplier, execute this method. So post construct and let's use it. And here you go. Basically, I forget to put the post construct annotation, so it will create the bin and then execute this method here. It's basically like a constructor and then it will inject for me. As you can see here. Another thing that, yes, sometimes 
I wish to 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 close a connection or to destroy the object or to do something like that. So music, I have my music supply. Imagine right now, I wish to to close my music. Oh, think about connection. Okay, let's stop singing. Okay, music, music, and then I just wish to. Oops to music stop so I will stop singing this music I create this method here stop singing the music and to make it possible I just say to send the dispose that is a kind of event that we we will explore later in the series Let's come here and then execute again. So it will execute everything and then it will destroy the object. So stop singing the music, don't stop me now. If I wish, I am able to do exactly something with the currency unit. So public void or just void close currency unit currency and then we don't need this currency and based on that the same event is post and when I run this time I will close two objects so we don't need this currency as you can see and we stop to singing the music don't stop me now okay let's move to the next step let's create right now a different way or a different approach to explore the producer so I will create my music service here and then I will inject my music by the way we also have the option to inject by constructor okay so uh, let me see here so if you wish the way would you do this way here by injection it's fine and we also want to inject the logger the logger because as you know sometimes you want to explore it logger logger and be happy so I will void sync uh, and then I will logger it info start to sing in this music here where I have my music let me check if I put the right to string though no, I don't come on Otavio to string here so right now I have my music so I will log this but uh, there is one issue here I need to cheat teach how to inject the logger based where this beautiful guy is okay i will just remove here this option that you, if you wish you're able to use but let's use by the field buff is fine and of course when I will inject the music service here service service let's sing they will have no idea how to inject the log right because you don't find any way to produce this logger class or this log implementation so I will create my log producer supplier whatever you want factory so producer I will hide the domain so nobody outside music able to see that if it makes sense private static final logger logger basically I want you to do something like this right uh, 
But of course, on oh, my music service, it should inject the music class name, right? Indeed, we are able to do that using CDI. So get lock and you're able to use the produce here. Oops, I forget to the return logger. And to make it possible, we have the injection point. Injection point, where I able to take this information here. So declaring class, where my injection point, I will take the member, declaring class and the name right now i have this name so logger not you but you info uh creating the log for this class here and then return logger get log logger declaring class so right now let's execute again oh yes i guess i forgot something i did a thing and as you can see the log is correct right so i'm creating from the service because i took the information from the injection point here that's the idea of cdi so i'm able to explore and yes with a beautiful design. So I hide the logger producer so nobody is able to see where this logger comes from. So I able to integrate with a live search or use a different implementation. And my client has no idea what does that comes from because it's used as interface logger. So if I decide to change the implementation, it doesn't matter to, to the client itself. That's all for today. Thank you. See you soon.